Welcome back to HLN Now. I'm Michael Anas. All right, we've got brand new audio tape, and we believe it's Donald Sterling, and sounds like he is ready to fight to keep his team. Let's listen. You think I'm a racist? You think I have anything in the world but love for everybody? You don't think that. You know I'm not a racist. I know I if got, I, I got the, what I mean when I heard the... I can't hear you. What about you when, know, I, hear the, when what, I hear that tape, though? That, that tape I heard. I grew up in East L.A. East L.A., you die to get out of there. I got out of East L.A. I was the president of the high school there. I mean... If you, and I'm a Jew, and 50% of the people there were black, and 40% were Hispanic. They're kind of, they're gonna, they're probably trying, they're trying to force you to sell it. That's the thing. They don't. You can't force someone to sell property in America. There's your quote. By the way, that recording obtained by Radar Online, we have not independently confirmed that the voice is Donald Sterling. We're not sure who he's talking to, uh, but again, most believe it is him. And let's get back to that key line. You can't force someone to sell property in America. Let's bring back our attorney, Midwin Charles. Midwin sounds like he's ready to fight. He's a billionaire. He's an attorney. What legal leg does he have to stand on to fight the NBA and keep the Clippers? Well, he does own the company, and he's right in the sense where you can't force someone in America to sell property, but you sure as heck can make it difficult for them to own it. Now, if all the other NBA uh, uh, prop owners stand against him, if they make it very difficult for him to own it, then perhaps they can force a sale that way. But he is right in the sense where they can't necessarily force him to do it. But okay. like I said, they can make it difficult for him to own it. And with these tapes out and with his perception, not just the tapes, but the allegations that he has against him by the federal government, by federal agents for the way in which he managed his real estate properties, it doesn't look good for him. Yeah. And, and again, the NBA and the Board of Governors, it's not a court of law. They have their Correct. bylaws and they believe they have it. And let's keep in mind, Adam Silver, the commissioner, is a lawyer and believes he has the support and all the wherewithal to get Donald Sterling out. But that leads to the next question. And his other half, his wife, Shelly, could she own the team? And let me read a couple of statements that says she's digging in her heels. She uh, posted this statement. I, as a co-owner, laying that out there, I am fully committed to taking the necessary steps to make the Clippers the best team in the NBA. That has been my aspiration ever since 1981. And she went on to reiterate that uh, the commissioner's sanctions were against Donald and not her and the rest of the family. But Midwin, let's give everybody the history here. Her her record and race not exactly spotless. There's a video that shows her posing as a health inspector. This is 2003, entering apartments of minority tenants uh, that her husband owned. And uh, the video, the claim in the lawsuit is that she is trying to uh, harass and intimidate African-American and Latino tenants. Uh, by the way, this case was settled for $2.8 million. Uh, Sterling and his wife did not admit any wrongdoing. I think, how is the NBA, though, and even f NBA fans and Clipper fans and players and coaches and everybody else, are they really going to be okay with Shelly becoming owner of the team at the end of the day? I don't think that they will. I, I mean, it's clear that she perhaps has these same views as her husband, especially when you look at that videotape and when you look at the fact that she's been named in these lawsuits and they did, okay, fine, pay a settlement and it never is an acknowledgement of wrongdoing, but still, you, you have to look at the allegations that were made against her and I can't see any fan or the NBA wanting to have her as a co-owner, but she is right. She has been a legal co-owner of the Clippers since yeah. 1981. Okay, we'll keep following it as more tape pops up or more statements from uh, Shelly Sterling. We'll let you know about it. Midwin, thanks again. All right, just a stunning turn of events in Texas. People were gathered at the scene of a fatal accident, and what happened next uh, could have taken more lives. Back with us, Yasmin Vesugian is in the newsroom with the details. Yasmin, this video, it's shocking. Yeah, Mike, shocking is right. You have to look at this video and just listen to the screaming. Yeah. <laughs> So this happened yesterday at a Houston apartment complex. Earlier that day, a 20-year-old was shot and killed, so his family and friends had gathered at the crime scene. So the alleged shooter's father drove by, and you can, oh my God, and that guy throws a bike at his car. Did you see that? It's crazy. The dad responded by driving his car through the entire crowd. Amazingly, he didn't hurt anyone. Police have charged him with aggravated assault. 
So here's another video of a car behaving badly, actually a van behaving badly. It busted through a building in Ohio and there is so much destruction. You can just imagine how fast the driver must have been going for the van to go through a brick wall. And listen to this, after the driver was pulled out of his van, he was able to walk on his own. So he's gotta be thanking his lucky stars. And thankfully no one was inside the building when all of this happened. Police are still investigating this crash. Okay, Mike, so now I have a happy trending story for you. A couple lit up YouTube and by singing their wedding vows and now they're actually going on tour. You have to listen to this. Michael and Carissa Alvarado make up the group Us The Duo. This video has more than 250,000 views. They got a record deal shortly after saying, I do. How cool is that for the beginning of a marriage? Let's hope they have a happy one. Yeah, Back to you, Mike. Incredibly cool. Yasmin, thanks so much.